Good Sunday morning. I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Chris Ramirez. Here is the latest update on Hurricane Barrel. We're having an active tropics. It is now a category 4 hurricane with winds at 130 miles an hour. It is moving west at 21 miles an hour. This is the earliest calendar year of a category 4 storm on record. So a record breaking hurricane that we're dealing with right now that's approaching the Caribbean. As we take a closer look, we're able to see that distinct eye a perfectly symmetrical hurricane just indicating that this storm is extremely strong and powerful as it's making its way across it towards the Windward Island. So folks that are in Barbados might be seeing the impacts of a category four hurricane as they've already issued a hurricane warnings for those islands in the next uh, possibly 12 to 24 hours. So as we look at the latest forecasted track for this storm, it is expected to briefly uh, weaken into a back into the category three storm just so uh, making uh, its way south of Jamaica, south of Puerto Rico, but what weather models and of course the latest forecast track from the National Hurricane Center has this making landfall as a hurricane in the Yucatan Peninsula. So what happens after that is very uncertain. There is the question on whether or not this storm is going to make its way across the Yucatan in the Bay of Campeche or southern Gulf of Mexico. Some weather models are indicating that could be a possibility, but it's still far too uncertain at the moment and we'll get a better understanding standing with that as we progress through the middle of the week because we're dealing with a high pressure system over the south central US that really is keeping this storm southward. So as we look at the latest uh, spaghetti model plots, they are in good agreement that this storm is going to be making its way into Central America, Southern Mexico in the coming days. But uh, we are expecting uh, some of these models. I know you're able to see some of those models taking it into the Gulf of Mexico, but uh, a lot of times we have this Saharan dust. We have this high pressure system. So a lot of factors involved on what's going to be happening after it makes its impact across the Yucatan. So something to keep an eye on in the coming days, especially if you have any vacation plans in the Caribbean. The latest on the tropics, there is still another areas of concern. There's the disturbance in the southern Bay of Campeche. This only has a 50% chance of development within the next two days. Also, barrels just north of South America. You see that spinning right there. We are seeing another tropical wave moving off the coast of Africa that has now a 70% chance of development in the coming day. So very active tropics. We're dealing with some record breaking uh, this record breaking storm, but we're also dealing with some Saharan dust and you, what usually happens. This Saharan dust plays a role at weakening tropical systems. So it's going to be interesting to see how that all comes into play uh, in the coming days as we're going to see another more concentrated plume of that dust making its way across the Atlantic Ocean in the coming days. But of course here across Southeast Texas, just very hot and humid highs in the upper 90s, lows in the 80s. We're going to see very humid conditions and that's going to cause those heat indices to be in the triple digits feeling as hot as 108 to 111. We are expecting the chance for an isolated shower or two each and every afternoon. So some of us might get a cool down here and there, but not everybody's going to receive rain. We have a little bit of more of a rain chance for Wednesday as that high pressure system starts moving off towards the east. But the 4th of July looking at a high of 97 degrees with feels like temps in the triple digits.